Hello everyone and welcome to the section on machine learning. We'll start by looking at the scikit-learn library which is one of the most popular machine learning modules in Python and then we'll look at the definition of machine learning and some of its applications and later we'll look at the various forms of machine learning algorithms. Here we have various categories of machine learning like classification, clustering and regression. Let's see what the scikit-learn library is. Scikit-learn, as I mentioned, is the most popular machine learning modules in Python. And here is the location of scikit-learn. We'll look at it in a few minutes. We are going to use scikit-learn library a lot in this section. And scikit-learn is dependent on NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. We have already seen those. And we can install scikit-learn by using these commands pip install scikit-learn or conda install scikit-learn. If you are using Mac, open up your terminal and simply type conda space install space scikit-learn and this will install the scikit-learn module for you. And if you are using Windows, open up your command prompt and simply type conda space install space scikit-learn. And again, the dependencies of scikit-learn are matplotlib, pandas, and numpy. Now let's look at the scikit-learn official website, which is located here. Here we are, this is scikit-learn's official website. And as I mentioned, it's a simple and efficient tool for data analysis. And it's free source, open source. These are some of the methods that we'll use in machine learning, classification, regression, clustering, and so on. So this is the homepage. If you click on the installation, here we see that scikit-learn requires Python, NumPy, and SciPy. As I mentioned, we can install it by using this command, conda install scikit-learn. If we go to the documentation page, you can get tutorials, flowcharts, and various informations regarding versions, FAQs, and so on. And if you go to the examples, you can click on any of these graphs and learn more about it. They have plenty of exa examples here. Here we have some general examples about classification algorithms, clustering. So they have lots of examples. And if I click on any one of this, you can read more about that example. We'll see some of this in our lectures, but feel free to explore the site and read about any of these examples or algorithms that you are interested in. Now let's go back and define what machine learning is. What is machine learning then? Here is Tom Michel's definition of machine learning. It's a computer program is said to learn from experience E with respect to some class of tasks T and performance measure P if its performance at tasks in T as measured by P improves with experience. So machine learning is all about learning from experience and applying what it has learned. Machine learning is the field of study that focuses on computer systems that can learn from data. So you'll see various definitions of machine learning, but all definitions of machine learning have one or two things in common, which is learning and applying what it has learned by building various models. So machine learning focuses on computer systems which can learn from data. That is, the systems often called models can learn to perform a specific task by analyzing lots of examples for a particular problem. For instance, a machine learning model can learn to recognize an image of a dog by being shown lots and lots of images of dogs. What does learning from data mean? It means that a machine learning model can learn a specific task without being explicitly programmed. That is, the machine learning model is not given instructions on how to recognize the image of a dog. How does it do it then? Machine learning models learn what features are important in determining whether a picture contains a dog from the data that it has analyzed. Since machine learning models learn to perform this task from data, the amount and quality of data available for building the model are important factors in how well the model learns the task. We will learn more about models in future lectures. You will see how important the amount of data is in model building. If you build two different models, if one model learns on a data that contains 
let's say 5,000 data points versus another model which learns from 10 or 20,000 data points, those models algorithm are different and you will see some difference in their prediction. When you evaluate those models, usually the one that learns from more data points tends to predict better. This is in general, but it also defend, depends on the quality of data presented for the models to learn. The use of machine learning allows for data-driven decisions to be made for a particular problem. Machine learning algorithms and techniques are used to build models to discover hidden patterns and trends in the data set. This allows data-driven decisions to be made. Machine learning is an interdisciplinary field. It means it combines methods and techniques from various fields and subjects like statistics, math, artificial intelligence, and computer science, to name just a few. Here are some applications of machine learning, robotics, medicine, credit card fraud detection, handwritten digit recognition, face detection, and various forms of recommendations. Let's see some of the applications of machine learning in detail. Let's take credit card fraud detection. When we use our credit cards, the current purchase is analyzed against our history of credit card transactions to determine if the current purchase is a legitimate transaction or a potentially fraudulent transaction. If we make a purchase that's different from our common past purchases, for instance, if the point of sales location is from another country, then it will be flagged as a suspicious activity, in which case the transaction could be denied or we may get a call from our credit card company to confirm that the purchase was made by us. You might have experienced this in one way, of an, in one way or another. For instance, you might have bought a plane ticket from a different country's airways. For instance, if you live, if you live in Europe and make a plane ticket purchase from an airways found in, let's say, North America or South America, you might have experienced this. This is one application of machine learning, credit card fraud detection. Now let's look at another application, which is handwritten digit recognition. When you, when you deposit a handwritten check into an ATM, for instance, a machine learning process is used to read the numbers written on the check to determine the amount of deposit. And as you can see from the picture here, handwritten digits are very tricky to recognize compared to typed digits due to the many variations in people's handwriting. You can check it out here. So this is one application of machine learning. By being presented lots and lots of examples of these different variations of handwritten digits, a machine learning algorithm learns and recognizes those digits. Another application of machine learning is in recommendation systems. When you buy an item on a website, let's say clothing for example, usually you'll get a list of related items. You probably have seen this. Customers who bought this item also bought these items, or you may also like this based on a certain purchase. So this is a common application of machine learning used in sales and marketing. Another application of machine learning in recommendation systems is Netflix, for instance. If you watch a certain movie, Netflix recommends a list of other movies based on the movie you watched, or you might see people who watch this movie have also seen this other movies. So you'll see those recommendations like, like that. So those are applications of machine learning. We will look at recommendation systems later on. So these are some applications of machine learning. Just to recap what we have learned in this lecture, we looked at the definitions of machine learning. Most of, most of them focus on learning from data. And we saw some applications of machine learning. In the next lecture, we'll look at classification of machine learning. Thank you, everyone.